I love having movie nights at my house. I have my friends come over, we put on some movies, make a big bowl of popcorn and everyone has a great time. Well, I'm taking movie night to the next level with this amazing quick and easy recipe that anyone can do. Let's make some cinema style chop top ice creams on the One Pot Chef. Let's make our chop top ice creams. Now, first things first, I've got some ice cream cones, the flat bottom variety, because it makes things so much easier. You can use the cone shaped ones if you wish, but they have a little bit of a drawback because you've got to have something to actually hold them steady in the freezer while they set. So flat bottom ones are the better option. Next, we're gonna obviously have some decent quality ice cream. I'm using vanilla today. So what I'm gonna do is just scoop some ice cream on top of each cone, like so. Make sure the ice cream is fairly rounded on top, nice dome shapes there. Now all we're going to do is put this straight into the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes, allow the ice cream to firm up again, because obviously it goes soft when it comes out of the freezer. And then we'll be ready to start putting our chocolate layer on. Next we have to make our chocolate topping. So into a bowl I've got 200 grams of chocolate. This is just regular eating chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate today, but feel free to use milk chocolate if you prefer. I just like the intensity of dark chocolate looks great, tastes fantastic, but again, feel free to use milk chocolate. Now, we're just gonna melt this in the microwave. You can also melt it over the stove in a double boiler, but if you're doing it in the microwave, basically all we do is we're gonna put it in for about 20 to 30 seconds at a time, take it out, give it a stir with a metal spoon, put it back in for another 20 to 30 seconds, and just keep repeating that until it's melted and smooth. Chocolate is lovely and melted. Now to that, I'm going to add in one to two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now this has two advantages. One, it helps to thin out the chocolate mixture. It makes it easier to coat the ice creams. But when the chocolate sets, the vegetable oil will allow it to go nice and glossy and it will look absolutely gorgeous. So just stir that oil in until it's completely combined with the chocolate. That's looking lovely and thin. We're just gonna allow this to cool for a minute or two and then we can start dipping our ice creams in. Once the ice cream has gone nice and set and solid, all you need to do is just basically tip the ice cream into the chocolate, making sure it's all nicely coated on all sides there. That looks good. Shake off the excess. There we go. And then just return this to the freezer to allow the chocolate to set. Then just continue on with the rest. To give the true cinema choc top experience, I'm gonna put each one into a little plastic bag and seal it up with a twisty tie. Then you can simply place them into the freezer for whenever you are ready to have your choc tops. That crisp chocolate shell and that smooth vanilla ice cream underneath, trust me, your next movie night is gonna be a smash hit with these choc tops. How gorgeous is that? Well, I cannot wait dive in and have a taste. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Yum. That beautiful crisp layer of dark chocolate on the outside and there's suddenly that cool hit of vanilla on the inside. Gotta love that. It brings back so many memories from my childhood. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time. See you later. Mm. Of course, you can use any flavor of ice cream you wish. You can also change the chocolate, make it into milk chocolate if you like. You can also dip the chocolate into nuts afterwards. You could do a double coat of chocolate. There's so many options on here. Give it a go. Trust me, everyone will love them.